Hello, this is CG Professor. Today we are going to make this beautiful looking optical illusion in Blender. So let's get started. Let's delete all and create a plane. Hit tab to get in edit mode, A to select all and right click, subdivide it 100 times. I am going to increase them later to 200 for better result. Then, create a icosphere with subdivision of 4. Create a bezier circle. Scale down the sphere a bit. Go to modifier tab and add in an array modifier. Also add a curve modifier. Select the bezier curve. We are going to make 8 spheres. Put value of 2.4 in factor x. Scale the plane just a bit and apply all the modifiers on the icosphere. Now, select the icosphere and go into edit mode, A to select all, right click, separate, separate by loose parts. Now go back into the object mode and add in an empty. Select all the spheres one by one and lastly select the empty and press Ctrl P to parent it. Now go to frame 0 and add a keyframe at Z rotation. I know I am adding it on first frame, but this is the mistake I will be fixing later anyways. Then go to the frame 250 and set value of Z rotation to minus 720. Select both the keyframes, right click and press T, and set the keyframe mode to linear. Now select the empty and to constraints menu and add a follow path. And select the bezier curve. Go to frame 0 and set a keyframe on offset, then go to the last frame and set offset to 200. This means I will have two full rotations. Make sure it's in linear mode. You can hide the plane to see that spheres are moving in a straight line. Now let's save our file. Dynamic paint tends to crash a lot, so I suggest you save it in different versions as you progress. Now, go to Physics tab and add Dynamic Paint to the plane, set type to Canvas and add Canvas. Set Surface type to Displace, because that is what we are going to do. Check Dissolve and set it to 200. Now select any one of the spheres and add Dynamic Paint to it and set type to Brush. Add Brush. Now shift select all other spheres and select the sphere with a brush setting at the last, Ctrl L and select Copy Modifiers. This is the place where I subdivided it once again making it 200. I accidentally copied the brush dynamic paint, so I am going to remove it and add the dynamic canvas again. Let's bake the dynamics. Let's create a camera. Press Ctrl Alt and Number Pad 0 to set camera to view. Let's set up the scene. If you can't see the dynamics at any point in your scene, just go back to the previous version of your file and bake the dynamics again. This is why saving the files in incremental versions is very important. To loop the animation, set start frame to 121 and end to 246. Add a smooth modifier on the plane and set repeat to 8. To make this look even smoother, let's add subdivision surface of 1. Click on this PC icon to increase your viewport stability. Adding subsurface to all the spheres too. Let's add an area light. I am going to use cycles for this. Set shape of light to disk and set its strength to 1500 and set it aside and rotate it.
Make a new material. Add a color ramp and flip it. Connect it to base color at a layer weight node and connect facing to the color ramp. Play with the blend to get these streaks of color. I am going to make these streaks blue. And change white color to a light green to get this peacock type effects. I will set the roughness to zero. If you don't want the surface to reflect light much, decrease the specular. Now, let's copy these two nodes by right-click, copy. Select any sphere, create a new material and right-click, paste. Play with blend. Now select all the spheres and select the sphere with the new material. Control L and select link material. Let's go to Output Settings, scroll all the way down to the Color Management and set it to Height Contrast. Go to Light Paths Select All and set it to 1. Disable, Reflective and Refractive Caustics. And that's it, hope this tutorial helped you. Please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.